My name is uh, Nikki Batang. I, I work with Dubdaba Foundation. This is an organization working for the rights of uh, indigenous peoples, including in the area of climate change, adaptation, and uh, mitigation. As for the CBA 14, I was able to attend one of the sessions about uh, nature-based uh, solutions in Namibia, Madagascar, Uganda, and Mozambique. And I think these were supported by WWF. So in this particular session, I was impressed on how the WWF or the community itself integrated the right-based approach in their NBS uh, initiative. As I understood in the presentation, they let the people collectively decide a common conservation area. They gave them uh, they gave them the right to manage their natural resources and at the same time integrate their traditional knowledge of re on resource management in their framework. I as promoting the rights of uh, indigenous peoples, I think it is very important to integrate the right-based approach in the framework because this will be the key for a successful NBS uh, initiatives or programs. Uh, one more thing that got my interest in this particular session was the monitoring, evaluation, and learning for NBS. As of this moment, it is acknowledgeable that MEL for NBS is not yet fully established. Uh, given that I'm very much interested about MEL for NBS, I contacted uh, WWF if we can collaborate to develop uh, the mail for NBS and fortunately WWF gave me a positive uh, respond and we were able uh, to exchange uh, contact information for future collaboration. So one of the reasons why I intended to collaborate with them is that uh, I want to ensure that the elements and principles and perspectives of IPs are or indigenous peoples are integrated in the mail. NBS has been part of the daily lives of indigenous peoples and other local communities even before uh, this term was introduced by conservation organizations. Thank you.